Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Ansco Ready Flash. It's from the early 50s. Uh, a little hard to date it precisely. I've read as early as 1951 and as late as 1956. A kit with a camera, flash, four bulbs, one roll of film, and a case. Uh, I saw an ad, it was $11.95. I used a 620 take-up spool because the uh, key in here is a little small and I'll make the same mistake as I did with the Rover. It'll work until there's some drag and then it'll crack the end of the roll. Uh, it was still a little bit of a screw up because this plastic roll is much thicker and it's held in by springs at the bottom. So it ended up uh, with this being the feed side, they ended up, it sits a little bit lower. So I got this weird uh, jaggedness where it didn't feed straight across. It shoots eight uh, six by nine centimeter frames on a roll of 120 or 620. So it's uh, you know pretty pretty nice and wide. Um, it's a simple meniscus lens, so so film plane is curved to help correct for the lens. It's a fixed focus lens. They say it goes from seven feet to infinity. I did a ballpark measurement. It's about 75 millimeters. Uh, there was a portrait lens adapter for it that would let it let it focus down two and a half to three feet. I don't have that. Uh, it's fixed shutter. I've read that it was a 30th of a second. Doing uh, some, again, some quick and dirty calculations using the Nikon that's taking this video. Set to 240 frames per second. You know, I shined a bright light through it and snapped it. Mine's somewhere between 20 and a 20th and a 30th of a second. So that makes sense. Springs get old. There may be some crud. I haven't been in here. I'll have to drill out a couple of rivets, I think, to get into the shutter mechanism. Kind of ballparking it. Uh, using the video that I shot, I was able to compare the diameter of the actual aperture, which I can't measure until I take it apart, to the diameter of the lens, which I can measure, and then divide that into the focal length of 75. So you count 17 point something. So this thing's f16 to 18. I did get the flash with it. It, it doesn't work yet though. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Um, I'm going to keep working on it. Took the PH8, the Bantam 8, number 5 or the number 25 bulbs. I got these with it. They fit, but all they say is USA on them. I'm not sure which ones they are or if they're any good since I don't know where the problem is. I did get the manual from Orphan Cameras, Mike Butkus' awesome site. Uh, depending on the film and the bulb, flash range was 7 to 20 feet. Another mistake that I made testing this out, I found yet another roll of the Shanghai GP3 uh, film. I don't know if that stuff's breeding while it's in the freezer or what. I thought I had burned through all of it. But it's the stuff, it's got really, really thin uh, emulsion, you know, the, the film itself. And then the backing paper is super thin and has a really rough texture. So what looks like grain is really wrinkles on the paper. You'll see the little leader dots on the photos because the light is coming through bouncing off of that uh, or reflecting through that thin backing paper and then back onto the film. I kind of like this camera so it deserves some better film. I'm going to spool both onto this so I don't uh, screw up the bottom edge of the film. So I'm going to load up something else in here and I'll see you then.